Hi guys, this is Sydney. As it's getting colder and winter's already here, I thought I would show you guys how to achieve this very glowy and plump skin look with my favorite bold red lips. So let's get started with the makeup. A pearly base is a must for a moisturizing and dewy skin look. So I'm gonna start off with this Chosonga 22 gravy my cream all across the face, but not too thickly. And as you can see, it gave me a really, really dewy and glowy skin, which I absolutely love. And on top of here, I want to go with something that is slightly more moisturizing and natural looking than normal foundation. So I decided to go with this cushion, which provides a very dewy and plump skin look. And this is the Laneige BB Cushion Anti-Aging in the shade 13, which is ivory. So I'm going to spread the product equally on the puff and then start from the inner part of my face. I initially thought it was slightly too light for my skin tone but as it's winter and I'm slightly more paler than how I was during the summer, I thought I could get away with this colour. This upgraded BB Cushion Anti-Aging has got a rose gold case which is so pretty. And I think the reason why it's called the BB Cushion Anti-Aging is because it just provides a really dewy and plump skin look. So I just thought this would be the perfect cushion when my skin is feeling a little bit more drying than usual. That's why I've been reaching for this product a lot. It covers up the imperfections on the face really nicely and leaves the skin looking super smooth and plump. And on this clean and dewy base, I want to take this concealer just to highlight, not to cover up anything. So I'm taking this concealer which is slightly lighter than my skin tone and just brighten up the areas where I want to highlight to achieve more perfectly clean looking base. Especially during the winter seasons, I don't really like my skin to look drying. So I like this kind of very clean and dewy skin look which is exactly what I was trying to achieve here. And moving on to the eyes, I'm taking my eye primer to prime my eyes before any eye makeup. And then I'm taking this translucent powder to powder my eyelids and eyebrows. Since our base makeup is very moisturizing and dewy, it is very important to powder the eyelids, especially under the eyes as well, because we don't want our eye makeup to smudge under the eyes. And then it's time for the brows and I wanted to keep the eyebrows very clean looking as well because the skin is very clean as you can see. So I'm going to take this Sephora eyebrow pencil to shape and fill in my brows. And like I said, I want the brows to look very simple and clean as well. So I'm going to take this flat concealer brush to clean around the edges of the brows. Look at the difference between my eyebrows. So I'm going to quickly do the other eyebrow as well and then we're going to move on to the eyeshadow. So I'm taking this Innisfree Mineral Single Shadow in matte number 2 which is ever so slightly darker than my skin tone. I'm going to put this on the eyelid and through the crease as well and blend it out to make it look super natural. And I'm going to take the same shade on the lower lash line as well and I'm applying it there quite thick and roughly. Then I'm taking this Bobbi Brown eyeshadow in taupe which is darker than the Innisfree one. I'm mainly focusing this shade in the outer corner and closer to my lash line. And then with a tiny brush, I'm taking taupe once again to smoke out the lower lash line even further. Another key point of this makeup is to not wing the eyeliner, which is not very common for me, but I'm just taking this brown pencil liner to really just tight line my eyes and just briefly go on top of my natural lashes. After that, I'm taking a flat brush to smudge that out. And again, since the eye makeup is very simple and we didn't wing out the eyeliner, I'm really taking my time to curl my lashes and apply the mascara fixer and the mascara. And when you curl your lashes, sometimes the eyeliner on your tight line rubs off. So I'm taking the brown liner once again to fill in any empty gaps between my lashes.
and I wanted my lashes to appear a little bit more dramatic so I'm taking these individual lashes which I got from eBay and these are actually really affordable and amazing so I highly recommend these lashes if you can find them around you. I'm taking three of the 10 millimeters one in the outer part of my eyes and I'm taking three of the eight millimeters ones in the inner parts of the eyes. I'm taking Bobbi Brown's taupe once again with a tiny brush to basically create an illusion of shade on the lower lash line and this would instantly make your eyes to appear longer which I definitely need for this eye makeup look where I don't have winged eyeliner. Next I'm taking this iridescent, almost translucent looking glittery eyeshadow in the very inner corners of my eyes and usually I would mainly focus it from the inner corners to the middle bit of my lower lash line but today I'm mainly applying it in the very very inner corner of my eyes to really open the eyes up. Going back to the face I want to keep the glowiness and dewiness of the skin so I'm taking Bobbi Brown's cream blusher in the shade powder pink which is this gorgeous toned down pink shade to make myself look like I was out in the cold and my cheeks have naturally turned red from the cold. Here I'm using Skin Foods Wedge Puff to blend that out. To keep the skin looking a lot more natural I'm taking a contouring stick from Collection and I'm using it to give more shade and definition to my nose. And since it's a cream product I am using a synthetic blending brush to blend that out. And using this really big and fluffy face brush, I'm taking the tiniest bit of Bobbi Brown's taupe to go over the outer parts of my face. And last but certainly not least, I am showing you guys two different lip options for this makeup look. I personally really like matte lips with a very dewy skin look, so I thought I would show you guys two different red lipsticks that are both matte. First, I'm taking this very warm red lipstick, which is Dior's Rouge Dior in the shade 999. And I'm taking the lipstick from the bullet in the inner parts of the lips and then blending that out by rubbing my lips together. Then taking a cotton bud to really blend the lipsticks out on the upper side of my lips. So I love this kind of very warm looking red lips during the winter times but I thought I would show you guys a different red lipstick which I personally think is more traditional snow white looking so I'm taking Max Ruby Woo which is my all time favourite red lipstick. Wearing a very bright and bold red lipstick makes your complexion to look even brighter and clearer which I really like. I just think this kind of very simple and sophisticated look goes well with the season and with these grey lenses which I showed you in my last unboxing video. So I highly recommend you guys to try out this look during this winter and as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again in my next video. Bye!